In a previous Colorland Living segment, Natalie Sorensen taught us all about the art of watercolor painting. But we also learned that Natalie is a talented jewelry maker. So today she's brought with her a pendant to show us the delicate process of cold connection, which involves riveting, doming, stamping, and filing. Wow. Okay, Things lots of tools. And, and you kind yes. of say that some of the tools are, you know, you make them yourself. I do. Kind of create them. For instance, with stamping, you can buy tons of stamps. Yeah. But if you just simply take a stamp from a, an old nail, you can carve out a, oh my gosh, here it is. You can carve out a shape oh. like this one, which is a little smile face. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. With that alone, you can make a leaf by flip-flopping it. Branches. I see. So when you say stamp, you mean something that can actually stamp into metal. metal. Yeah. Okay. And I love that you're using a wine cork. You're speaking yes. my language. <laughs> <laughs> speaking my language. Yeah. yeah. Which came first, the stamp yeah. or wine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So what's doming? That's another thing I've never heard. Doming. Doming. You'll see on our little project today. It has a little bud flower. Yeah. It's, I don't know if. Yeah. This is a beautiful pendant. So and you made this pendant. We, uh, um, there's, we have a picture of this beautiful pendant that you took and, or made. And, um, and so this is all made by cold connection. There's no heat in this process at all, um, and, which is really cool. So tell me where you begin. So for the little bud, well, mm -hmm. where I begin? Yeah, we'll talk about the bud. I know, okay. we got you all off track. Yeah, we started asking too many questions. I know. So you want to punch your disc. Now okay. You can buy these things, but I'm pretty frugal, and so if you can go to Harbor Freight and pick up a disc puncher, you can punch your yeah, own disc. Yeah, who knew? Yeah. And so you just punch them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that yep. part's loud, so you've already got that done, but. But so you start with something like that, oh. slip it in, yeah. put the die in, and a oh, big and hammer. Oh, and that's how you get it through. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you have this. That Take out some circle. aggression, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm, see how chill I am? Yeah, I know, great. Right. <laughs> I make lots of these. Yeah. <laughs> so then I can put it in a depression in yep. this bronze block made for this purpose, mm -hmm. and I can. Is that wow. too loud? Nope. And you say and it's important perfect. to do um, wood, not necessarily metal and metal. Yeah, like this one, I'm using a previously used piece of uh, cop uh, sorry, yes, copper, and it has some cute little flowers already stamped wow. into it. If I want to preserve them, I want to make sure not to do metal to metal with my yeah. metal that'll in really between. It'll it obliterate them. Mm -hmm. So if I use an old, this is like a peg from. Yeah. Do you ever have those that come apart and the pegs get? Pulled out, I pull them out on purpose so I and, have just the right shape. Yeah. <laughs> and so show us the other sizes that you have in that. Yeah, that's tool really fun. Yeah. That's interesting to me. So you can go and buy this where? <laughs> oh, Never this even one was, I don't know. This was unusual. Yeah, since you this have one's to kind bronze, of find these things. Okay. But it's you can typically, I don't think Harbor Freight has one. I do a lot of my jewelry shopping at RioGrande.com. Okay. And they really have cornered the market in a very pleasant way. They have all the yeah. Intelligence that you need, the videos to show you how, Ooh. and the, the other line. thing that you mentioned was you actually cut these pieces of metal out, even like the, the yes. leaves or the flower. And this is the tool you use to cut them. Yeah. This is this is my favorite saw. Yeah. That's really cool. She's a woman on a mission right now. She's yeah. like, yes, sorry. My saw. No, you it's know, perfect. I never started this to be a tool person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you've got your thing, and it's like, how can I do this? Oh my gosh, what a beautiful saw. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> yeah, and it's so, problem solving. Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Okay. This is a, this really is a green, cool. green lion saw. I waited a long time to buy it. You I can like get a normal jewelry saw for, what, about $15. And they're called jewelry sauce. But not this. <laughs> and not that one. Right. Okay. This is cool. Okay. Yeah. So is the first step is to cut out the piece and then we hammer it? This right. one. Okay, we're but first, we're doing something layered. We do um, a little bit of texturing if you want on okay. the background, the aluminum part. We're doing this one in aluminum today. The original okay. one was done in sterling silver. Okay. The big difference is the sterling will get the darkness into the recesses. So then you want to use that, something like a texture plate. That's done in a rolling mill. And that's that's a whole that's a whole, whole other thing. thing. Okay, but it can be really cool. Otherwise, you can just take this was I use this in my studio. It's a d stamp I designed for my studio. Mm -hmm. So, and it's when I had it made, they were really concerned because it's so big and you can't get enough pressure to get an an actual mark. But I wanted it as a, a just a little bit of an impression here, a little bit of an impression right, there. Right, right. So yeah. it's been great. Okay. I've loved using it. And you can so that's to say you can use it as a texture or you can use it as a stamp. Yeah, and you okay. kind of kind of okay. get everything going in a different way. And you and I like what I love about this kind of art is that 
it, you can use it for one thing one time and one mm -hmm. time another exactly. thing. Exactly, yeah. definitely, I hope, hopefully. Yeah. So these are all kind of set up in pieces that you've already cut out for us, right? Yes. So just to see the process, but go ahead with that. So this is the point where you decide where you want your bloom to be. Okay. And you punch a hole. This has been, I'm sorry, another tool oh, thing. Yeah. But you can change out the sizes and like. Yeah, I have a thing, a wow. gadget like that for. Oh, I love it. For like leather, but that would probably yes, exactly yep. the okay. same idea. Okay, okay. same but idea, just a little more hardy. So mm -hmm. you punch the hole, and, and then um, and I see you have this little uh, what right. tool to keep this it together. This is what we're all here for yep. right now. This is a handmade rivet. Okay. Not like the kind you'd buy in a package. We just start with a chunk of a chunk of wire. Okay. Wow. And cut it off. Okay. But the size is so important and the height is so important. Mm. If it doesn't fit the punch perfectly, okay. it's not going to, it's not going to work. Right. Yeah, so yeah. what I start with is a spacer because I need to have that height oh. on the bottom. So and that way when you kind I of have pound this into one it, also you have... So that when I push it through, yeah. yep. it comes out the top, stack all my things on. And you eventually get to this that process. That point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one and it does fit perfectly and keeps it in you there. Bet. So that's <laughs> so that's where you don't need the heat and you don't need glue. You just use that rivet. Right. I love that. So, so it's so called this cold one connection. Can I oh, see that? Oh, I want to yeah, see yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here's the full stack. Okay. And oh, wow. right now it's all loose. Yeah. And I don't have the spacer under that one. But, but when you pound it in, that yeah. just enough yeah. of that metal rivet comes down right. to keep oh, it in space. Yeah. So what I tell my students, when you're doing riveting, it's like, well, where is it? <laughs> okay, I'll hammer it. But no, you actually have to pretend it's this big. Mm -hmm. And you have to do your riveting all the way around the edges. Wow. This one doesn't quite sit up right. And okay. it will slowly mushroom. That's what gives you that yeah. kind of lip and on. It will work. Yep. And then you have to get to the point where you flip it over. You got to do both sides. Right. But since we've done a dome, we've really complicated things. Yeah. Oh, right. But I That's found that I can use my Harbor Freight dapping and doming set. Oh, uh -huh. my goodness. <laughs> so that I can put the dome part right on there. There is such a process to And it. then I can... I was going to let you do this, but all of those things are I, important. Don't let me. I, I, yeah, don't let me. I'll ruin it. But and that's yeah. why the, all these things are so important. You know, yeah, each it's... part of it has to be there. I mean, there are a lot of tools, but but in order to get to the final product, you need it. You know, we could raid Keith and Mark's stuff, and we could find yeah, a lot of this. We can certainly probably. find a lot of this stuff. And that's that pretty cool. To that point, stunning. it's a good time to punch a message or an initial or something like yeah. that. And the stamp that was for my studio was named Grow Peace. So uh, this was my Grow Peace um, well, thank, medallion. Thank well, we're so ready. We're ready to get. We're ready to go tool shopping. Ready. Step Yay. one. Thank you so much for being here. We should all get together. Yeah. <laughs>